Hey there and welcome back to my channel. Today is Friday and that means that I'm gonna solve a 3D printed puzzle. But before that I wanna announce a couple of giveaways that are happening on YouTube now since who doesn't like a free stuff? So the first one is from Joey from MDO Puzzles. He's gonna give away a Hanayama puzzle. Link to his video is gonna be in the video description or right here. And the second one is from Puzzle Master. Tony and Tyler are doing giveaway almost every week and every week they uh, give away a Hanayama puzzle. So uh, check their video right here and in a uh, video description. And now I'm gonna print a puzzle and solve it if everything goes as planned. The name of the puzzle I'm gonna print today is a Puzzle of Evil. It was designed by Joy Larsons. The STL file of this uh, puzzle is available at Thingiverse. I'm gonna put a link to it in a video description. This puzzle is not only gonna test my puzzling skills, but also 3D printing skills, since the frame has a hinge which is printed in one piece and after removing uh, the piece from the printing bed, I probably can just fold it and with a little bit of force it's gonna work well, but usually such the type of uh, prints don't work well on my uh, 3D printer, so we will see what's gonna happen next. Now when the printing is done, all parts are printed well, I can try to remove the brim and then try to fold the frame, since I wanna test if the hinge was printed well, and then try to put all parts inside the frame. Okay, the brim is removed. Now I'm gonna try to fold the frame. It looks like there is some movement here, but while printing, I saw that the first couple of layers were a little bit stuck and that's probably gonna ruin the hinge for me. I'm not sure if it's possible to fold it now. I hope I'm not gonna just break the whole frame. Oh, I, I feel I feel the hinge is moving. Ah, nope, it's not moving. I'm just I'm just breaking it. I broke the hinge on the left side, on the hard side. As you can see here, there is a crack and there is a crack there, but the hinge is working. So I'm gonna say it like a 80% success probably or 70% success. The hinge is not working properly, but the puzzle is still in normal condition. I can uh, put parts in these areas. So I'm, I'm gonna start the solving the puzzle. I'm gonna start with the easy one. It says easy and I have to put all four parts inside the frame. So let's start the stopwatch and try to figure out the way how to fit everything inside. Okay, from the very beginning that looks very nice. I have three more parts left. This won't fit here, but probably, no, not this one. Oh, this piece fits here. Okay, printing of these parts wasn't quite successful as well, since they are too tight. I'm trying to fit this piece, but it won't fit properly. Okay, but let's count it as a fit. I have to send the parts a little bit maybe later. So let's see if it is easy. That means that it's gonna take me not a lot of time to solve it. But already I can see that this piece is too big for this area now. I don't know if I can fit it here. So probably, yeah, it, it's gonna fit here, but then the last one, there is no space for it here. Oh, that looks interesting. These two fit here pretty well. I can probably fit this part here, but then the last piece, I'm not gonna be able to stick it in the area. Okay. Oh, this one fits perfect. And the last one, there is no space for it. Okay, maybe I have to start with the biggest parts, like this one and this one. 
and then figure out the places for the rest of the parts. And they can be placed like this or like this. So there are two sides. Oh, these two. These two, they look very nice. Very nice. Okay, let's see what I what else I can do. I can fit this piece here. Again, because of my poor printing skills, it won't fit perfect. And nope. No, no, no. I thought I was so close. Everything looked so perfect. But now I have to start from the beginning. Okay. What if I change this piece like this? Yeah, that's definitely not going to be enough space for the last part. Ooh, that fits nice. But where to put the last piece? Ah, that was so close. Let's try to think. These two parts, they're not big enough to cover the whole area. They're gonna, there's gonna be plenty of space left. So maybe I just have to, have to do something and leave a lot of gaps like this. No, this one doesn't fit here. What about this one? This one fits here just perfect, like this. I have only just a little bit of space for this part. And again, my 3D printing skills, they're not good. Not good at all. I can't fit the piece. I have just to stick in here in the easy side like this. Oh, okay. This fits well, this fits well, and I have only one piece left. That's not gonna fit there. Ooh, but... Okay, I found it, I found it, but I can't stick it inside because of my 3D printing skills. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, that, that's for sure the correct one. But if I can move this piece to the left a little bit, this piece goes here, this goes here. That's gonna be the perfect fit. Ooh, something like this. Okay, let's count as I found the solution. This is the right one. That was quite long, 15 minutes for the easy part. Let's move to the difficult one. And first of all, what I have to try to do is to just compare this part and this part. This part looks even a little bit bigger, so there's going to be a lot of gaps as well. So let's try. Let's try to find the solution. That, that's going to be fun if I'm going to solve the hard part quicker than the easy one. Okay, that fits nice. Okay, what's next? I can probably fit this piece here, but the last one... It's not gonna fit there. Okay, let's see. Ooh, how they fit in perfect there. Oh my God. Okay, with this puzzle, I have found already that the perfect fit doesn't mean the correct solution. Since it is not the first time when I find the place to fit all pieces very tight, but I end up with no solution. Oh, okay. That looks pretty interesting if this piece will fit here. Okay, let's count as the as this piece is there. What I can do next? This goes here. Probably not like this. Maybe I can stick this piece. What if one of the parts is going to be just like in a random spot? Oh, that was so close. That was very close. Oh, but no. So close to the solution, but not the right one. Okay, but it fits there perfect. What I can do to stick the last piece? I have no idea. Okay, maybe I can do it this way. And then what I can put on top? On top I can put this piece. Oh, I haven't tried this one. I haven't tried this one and this one looks 
pretty promising. So let's see. Uh, that was that was good, but not as good as I want it to be. Nope, not this one. What about this and the last one? Please fit somewhere. Where to stick you? This piece is crazy. Okay, if I can put this piece here, maybe I can find a place for this one. Nope, not like this, but it, fit, it will fit like this, but then there is no space for this part. But it will fit here, but then I don't have enough space to fit the last piece. Oh, just a little bit was not enough. That doesn't look right. Okay, maybe like this. What to do with this piece? It goes here. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> Again, it's not enough. Just a tiny triangle to fit the piece. Maybe there is another way. There is supposed to be another way. No, not like this. Not like this. Again, this tiny triangle doesn't allow me to fit the last piece. Oh, that is the, the best one. That is the solution almost. The others were not so close, but this one seems almost perfect. That looks good. That looks good. And that is almost fit again. Almost, but not, not the solution. Oh my God. That is so close. So many attempts that are so close but all the time I'm coming to a dead end. So this one is here, this one is not the solution either since I can't fit this part. Okay, let's try to assemble all parts outside the frame. Maybe there is a perfect shape how, uh, shape how to fit all parts together and then I'm gonna try to do something. So let's see, this goes here. This doesn't fit here. This goes here, this goes... Oh no, that doesn't fit well. But maybe I can do something else. This fits here. Supposed to fit here pretty well, but it's gonna be a little bit big, I think. But okay, let's, let's keep trying. Something like this, okay. This piece fits here and this one. Mm, not the perfect fit, but this one is a perfect one. Okay, but what I can do with it? If I can fit all this stuff, let's see. This doesn't fit, this fits well. And it looks like it is not enough, just it. Wait, wait. Wait, come back. It is not enough, just a little bit to fit all parts. Again, one tiny triangle. My 3D printing skills so bad that I might lose the solution somewhere. Oh, you know what? You know what? Ooh, I think, I think that I found the solution. Uh, maybe I have to check it since my printing is not perfect, but it fits like this. That is totally unexpected. Okay, that's, that is it, I think. I'm gonna look for the solution online since my parts are not well printed. 
And that might be just me forcing it in, but that looks like it. I have two news. The first one is good and the second one is not so good. The first one, the puzzle is solved and solved correct. But the second one, I'm not very good at 3D printing and I have to do something with that. By the way, while solving the hard part of the puzzle, I had a feeling that I have to do something not as straightforward as just putting parts inside. And I thought that maybe I have to put parts in kind of diagonal way. But then I decided that the puzzle is too tight and that's not gonna work. But I ended up rotating all four pieces inside and that's how I found the correct solution. That was totally unexpected, but I had a feeling that this puzzle is not gonna be as simple as it looks. So it is a great puzzle, even the easy part is not as easy. It takes quite some time to figure out the way how to put all parts inside and the hard part is just a pure evil. If you like, a puzzle of evil and you want to print it link to the stl file is going to be in a video description and that's it for today if you enjoyed watching my video hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and see you next time